Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today I'm going to show you how to use Sonarworks Reference 4, the plugin version, independently from the system wide version. So, if you are opening the internet and you're looking at videos or on YouTube or maybe you're gaming or something, you're able to adjust the profile to how you like it. And then when you open up your DAW, without having to worry about the system wide version at all, you can mix with that nice flat response and they will work independently of each other and not mess each other up. Let's take a quick look at that. All right, so here I am in FL Studio. I've got Sonoworks Reference 4 open in the DAW. And we can see a sine wave clearly coming through here. If I open up the system wide version and do the same thing, we see that the input does not come in here. We do not see it come in. Where here, for example, if I do the bass boosting cut, and we'll reset that back to zero. And now if I go in to the reference and do the same thing, nothing. So the system wide version does not see this. And this is really great because now when I'm in YouTube or whatever, this will see it. And actually this one won't because this one's loaded as a plugin in the DAW. So how does this work? So first off, uh, let's talk about the two types of drivers. There's ASIO drivers, which are really great for processing audio and your hardware will depend on how many of these channels you have. If the more of them you have, the better, uh, just because they're way better at audio processing. And they're the thing you're going to want to use in your DAW. You don't want to be using any of these up here, these direct sound devices, um, because while they're great at having a lot of programs play audio at the same time, they're awful for one program doing intense audio work at that time. If you don't have a sound card, then you'll probably be using the ASO for all version two, uh, which will focus all the processing on your one program. So you actually won't be able to have audio elsewhere. Um, it's sort of the sacrifice you make, but it makes it so that the programs audio processing is way less taxing on the systems. Um, I'm using the Focusrite USB because that's the drive, that's the interface I'm using right now. And so you set this up and that's the interface it's going to be using. Now, again, if you're using the ASO for all, in order to do what I'm suggesting, you could get the FO Studio driver, which will actually let you, it's sort of like a go between. Other programs can use audio, but it puts the majority of the focus for FL. Uh, so there we go. We've got that set up, and that's what this is using. If I open up the system wide version, it is using one of the direct sound device drivers. So to get to these drivers, all you have to do is you come over here to your presets. So you have devices and presets. And we're going to go up to the top of the preset and click on these three dots and go to assign to another output. We do this and you're actually guided through this when you set it up. But if you want to come back, add profiles, change things later, you're able to come in here. You're going to go to output devices and you have a bunch of your output devices that you're able to look at. Now, these are all the direct sound devices because this is the system-wide version. And you're just gonna make sure, wanna make sure that you set these up to what you want. So I want it to come out the 18i20 because that's what my headphones are plugged into. And that's also what's driving the DAW. So I can just leave my headphone in one spot and they won't ever collide or mess with each other. You could test the output. It'll just talk in the left and right. Make sure you it's the signal's going where you think it is. Uh, you definitely want to do that. I already know that it works in my case. I'm going to hit add preset and boom, we're set up. We're good to go. I can now, for example, turn up the bass a bit, maybe do a bit of a tilt, maybe something more like that. Have a nice little sculpture, a little bit like the Fletcher Munson. What the hey? And I'm able to go ahead and make adjustments like that while in the DAW, I can still have my very objective sort of viewpoint versus the, the way that I might like to hear the audio just to taste. Yeah. So that's how you set it up. If you have any questions about this, let me know. It is uh, something that you sort of have to have some background knowledge about on the driver's side. So I felt like it'd be pretty helpful to have a video that just informs you about how some of these things go down in your computer. So just as a brief recap, you can have them work completely independently, which is great. Just when you're in your DAW, you really want to have an ASIO enabled driver going. Uh, and then in the system wide version, you're going to select your direct sound device, which is better for having a bunch of programs using audio, playing audio back, uh, but they can't do very intense processing, really optimized for just really playing audio back and streaming audio, not really like doing something to the audio. Subscribe and have a blessed day.
Bye.